Welcome back to Moons of Madness. Last episode, we had a demon try to take us over, and I don't think they're quite successful yet, because now we're in our own childhood memories. I'm guessing this is a chance to try to fight them off from the inside. Don't, uh... Yeah, I don't have any of my normal things. I don't have a flashlight or my personal assistant thing. I forgot what that's called. Hey! Hi! Oh. Well, that's awkward. <clears throat> and this is where I came from, I think. What is that? It's so cool. <laughs> I came through this, like, weird filth portal. I see light behind the bookcase. Hmm. Remember, C, B, E? Then same as the second one. Periodic, periodic table in laundry room. Match atomic with volume number. Ah. Atomic number with volume number. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't really have an inventory to put things in, I think. Oh, you can see my hand. I have the thing on my hand. But I can't pull it up. <clears throat> uh, carbon, beryllium, helium. I will not remember that order. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Oh, add to inventory. I do have an inventory. I wonder if this timestamp is important. Yeah, seems like it. If only your thumb wasn't covering it up. I put it in my inventory, but I can't actually access my inventory. Looks like something's stuck here. Another drawing slash picture. Oh. How do I access that? Looks like something's stuck here. I was kind of wedged into a board. Maybe I need like a hammer, some sort of tool to pry it out. Dark room. Knock before opening the door. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> a note on the bookshelf had a list of elements. Could you recite them for me? Oh, yeah, actually, it's just right there. C, B, I mean, it's not B, it's... Carbon, beryllium, helium? Is H E helium? Yeah, helium. B, E, that was beryllium, right? Yep, there's beryllium. And, yeah. Carbon, beryllium, helium. Uh, so, the atomic number of carbon is six. Sorry, I was just trying to remember which one's the atomic number. It is the one on the top left of each square. The number that's below the name of the thing, like it says carbon and then 12.011. Uh, that's like the atomic weight, if I remember right. Yeah, so six, um, six, four, two, four. Six, four, two, four. 
Eccentric, but not like this. Is that our special connection with all of this stuff? Somehow the reason why we have those rings on our hand and why we seem to be able, seem to be able to control the orbs. Is that because our mom was involved with this stuff? I think Sean said that they were a... Um, some sort of a mathematician, I think? And then at some point, they just disappeared. They just completely disappeared, and they searched for them. And couldn't find them. By the way, am I the only one thinking that the, um... The lady in the filth bikini might be her mother? Feels likely. Dreaming ones were and are and will be. They are parent, spawn, and manger, also, sleeping in the space between. Their dreams bubble and blaspheme, birthing quivering dimensions that mate with each other, forming new incestuous dimensions. Not reality, not illusion, hyper-reality. The proper incantations allow travel into these pocket dimensions, but one might fall in by happenstance, through knowledge of the dreaming ones, through proximity. Like us, and maybe our mother. Their liquid dreams lubricate the passage. Call it Nurgle's Rot? Is that what it says? Yeah, call it Nurgle's Rot. Call it the Devouring Plague. Call it the Zero Point Pathogen. The Black Worm Jism. <laughs> Gizm. The Filth. The Sizzling Celestial Syphilis Eats Holes in Reality. One might enter these shrieking zones. To leave, one must find the tear in the skin of space. Smiley face sticker. You got this well, that thing's fucking rad looking. That's so cool. Huh. No glowing symbols on these tablets. Only this one. Hmm. I feel like this might be a do a bunch of sub puzzles kind of thing and then come back here once they're all activated. The moons. Fear and dread. There are no solar eclipses on Mars. Phobos and Deimos are far too small. Total lunar eclipses of Phobos, however, are a nearly nightly occurrence. These frightful siblings do not behave as our moon does. Fleet? Fleet? Fleet Phobos rises in the west, sets in the east, and rises a mere 11 hours later. Deimos rises more lazily from the east. Both moons are tidally locked, always showing the same face towards Mars. They never look away. They stare fixedly. Phobos stalks Mars. 
its orbit decreases slowly. Someday, it will crash into the red planet. Evidence suggests Mars may have had many more moons at one time, each meeting that fate, each committing self-destruction. A pair of orbs. Weird. Even from this photo, it feels like they're watching me. Hmm. That timestamp might be of use. <clears throat> ah, I think I need to put these in chronological order. Obviously, I don't have them all. I only have two pictures and I need five. Fucking hell. Most of the time this game doesn't scare me, but that actually really got me. <laughs> right. What should I do now? Hello. Oh. Should I not look at that? I think looking at it is what makes bad stuff happen. <laughs> yeah. But I'm kind of curious. I felt like my brain was melting. Those symbols were similar to the ones at the altar. Is it stuck there now? Now that I stared at it long enough? I think, yeah. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have done anything in here yet. But maybe I need to, like, find them all. Activate them. So looks like something's stuck here. So how do I deal with this without dying? <clears throat> so I think it's the next area I need to go to. I feel like there was a, an invisible wall here before, like it felt like it wasn't allowing me to go past. But I didn't try that hard because I was fixated on the periodic table. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Knock before opening the door. Ah, oh, this should be the power. Yeah. Oh, I can turn it all off. Uh, well, I at least want to turn off the laundry. Maybe we'll turn that back on. Do I have any reason to turn off the others? I guess just to see what I... Oh, yeah, no. No, I don't like that. Never mind. That's a thing that jumped on top of the water regulator thingy. It's that thing in the greenhouse. Yeah, that thing. 
Maybe I should take note of that. Looks like something stuck here. Yeah, I do need some sort of a tool, I think. Oh wait, nope, just need a pride from here. Oh, I have this on me. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> it looks like some sort of doorway. Think I need just one more picture? I grab this flashlight now. I really can't. Okay. <laughs> Did you just wind it up more? Why would you do that? Time is not linear, is it? Or maybe time is a flat circle, a petri dish poked by gigantic fingers. We are the bacteria. Are we? I keep seeing things outside of my time. It makes things difficult with my family. I've locked myself down here. Oh yeah, I think this is from our mother. With blank photo paper and chemicals, I'm able to make my visions manifest. I see a space vessel heading towards the red planet. Did they see us heading to Mars a long time before it happened? That should be all. It's the Cyrano. Are those people flying out of the ship? I assume chronological order. That must be the significance of the time step. So number one would be the ship. 748. People arrive at the red planet, I believe. Then, the thing at the greenhouse. Then, the doorway. Then this thing. And then the two orbs. These symbols, they're similar to the ones on the altar. Yeah, we need this last one. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. I suspect the blank ones are missing something. And this one is probably activated <clears throat> with those symbols that I need to look at. I probably need to find more of them because I only found two. Yeah, let's look more thoroughly out here. Maybe, 
Turning off the light in here might help me find them. As much as I don't like it, I'm going to do it. Same in here, I'm going to turn them all off, I guess. Yay. <laughs> I'm assuming they glow at least a little bit. Huh? Here's one. They all seem to be facing like this direction so far. So maybe I should keep looking from this perspective. I don't know how many I'm looking for. Oh. I can feel them vibrating behind my eyes. Great. Guess that's all of them. That is definitely our mother. No! is still standing on end. That wasn't a dream, buddy. Still, I'm not really sure what it means for us. Like, did we... I mean, we don't want to do what our mom wants us to do. They want to, like, get inside our head and take us over. We don't want that to happen. And the voice said yes, little one, when we went to pick it up. So they, they want us to get the book, which means we shouldn't get the book. Hmm. We dropped it. When we touched it, it like burned or something, and we dropped it. So I suppose that's a good thing. Declan. Declan. No response. Reasons the rock stacks change each night. Seismic activity. Unknown changes in atmosphere, altering optics. Hallucinations. Other. <laughs> Declan, come by to... Oh, there's a code there. Declan, come by to take... To... To talk? To talk? You can't keep... Something... Making up work? I have a hard time reading cursive. Visited, samples collected, samples analyzed. New password, 7357. 7357. For something. That thing looks broken. Oh, password's probably for this. I love this. We can move our finger around in a kind of weirdly grid-like manner. Seven, three, was it five, seven?
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Now, this is crazy. Who would even write all this? Declan, probably. Didn't they say they would, like, black out or wake up from sleeping and they'd found that they had drawn stuff? I guess this thing isn't broken if we're powering it up. start up with the hydraulic test is enough to get us through. Um, should I take this? If I take this, it's probably gonna, sh like, uh, the arm's probably gonna go down? Yeah. Figured. Just love how this looks. Just look at it. to take us. Can I make the arm go back down? No. I'd have to take out the battery to make it go down, and if I did that, then I couldn't get through. Right? Or... Or not? Ah, right. Oh no, don't die. Whew. I just remembered, as I went over that gap, that I can't jump. That's not a thing you can do. What is the purpose of this, then? Like, this seems like a thing. Hmm. I don't know. I love going every way but the way you're supposed to. I hope to God he's in the habitat. Let me guess, no power. Oh. Ah, I do have to find an alternate way up. Oh, look at that. That's a thing that I can maybe grab onto, perhaps. Solar. Pa Wait, what solar panel am I connected to? I'm not even really connected to it. I, huh. If it was a dream, then why is my scar still warm? Okay, one stack of rocks, fine. 
this, though? <laughs> Declan is either really bored or somebody... Uh, I don't know. Let's just hope he has too much time on his hands. Just really likes Cairns. Must be one of the moons, right? Phobos or Deimos? Looks like that's going to work fine, so I want to know what's over here first. Ah, this thing has no power. I need a power cell. Declan, you here? Declan! It's empty? Declan! Damn it, where are you? Look, don't freak out. Just find out where he is. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to try to find Declan. <laughs>